What in the world is that? Is that a, oh, it's an alligator. Yes, alligator hatching. Okay, I did a little look up and they do sell for $45. Oh, this bamboo set is pretty cool. Look at the color. Oh my goodness, that is like a whole, whole bag of individual salts. That's so cute. And now you can just call me an impulse buyer. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. If you saw my last video, you saw the major score that happened and it kind of set me in motion thinking, hmm, they're doing this big 50% off store-wide sales event in Las Vegas on uh, Saturday. I'm shopping on a Friday the day before. Not as many people are going to be out that are aware of that sale because they're going to come for the sale. It's kind of my thinking and I scored really, really big. So. I am down the street at another Goodwill, the second newest Goodwill in Las Vegas, if you will, and I haven't been here for a while, so let's go inside and see if we can fill another cart full of amazing things for resale. Let's get shop done. Oh, and for those that have been following along my getting healthier journey, now I, I know this isn't the greatest thing in the world, but this is instead of getting a soda or a Dr. Pepper. It is a, a, a strawberry acai refresher from Starbucks made with water, not lemonade. So it doesn't have the high sugar content and it's super yummy. So uh, doing this instead of soda. And this is a really good sign. Normally this parking lot is jam packed and I have to park like way out there somewhere. So let's get inside and let's find some really good stuff. And we are blue tags at 50%. And let's grab us a lucky tart. Ooh, smooth. I'm gonna go a little out of my normal route and head over here to the purses first, only because I have to make my way back to the little girl's room after drinking all that uh, strawberry acai goodness. I recognize that, that's small world. What is this bag? And are these bags desirable? It's a Disneyland park bag for $1.99. I feel like, I feel like that's really cool. And the thing is, if it's not like for resale, I will use that. This is a Betsy Johnson. It's $12.99. It's not a very exciting Betsy Johnson. I mean, it is cute with the embossed hearts and all. But I feel like it's probably like a $20, $25 Betsy Johnson, so. Can't pay $12.99. This is kind of cute boho looking, but it is fake leather, fake ostrich actually. I mean, it's cute, Millennium, but it is $12.99 also. All right, let's head to the back wall here where the pillows are. Oh my gosh, is that a crab pillow? Hello, my lovely. <laughs> She's fun. $5.99. Ooh, the tag is pretty ripped up. Oh, it's Pier 1 Imports. Pier 1 Imports. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to be opening my plush store once again. I have a fantastic solution that has come about that I'll share with you more later. These little eyeballs are a little fuzzy. Nothing a little sweater fixer can't fix up. Just get the little... Oh yeah. Oh, okay. He's coming with us. I am testing a new service that is going to help me get my plush store back up and running. What in the world is that? I mean, is it just a poof? Is it a horse shaped poof? It's kind of fabulous. I'm, I'm a bit in love with it. I don't know if the braids are meant to be there or somebody has braided it and taken other braids out, but Rachel could definitely remedy that. The tag, oh, there's 
some tape around the tail. The tag doesn't give me too many indicators of who makes it. Horse poof, tan, horse poof. I bet this was super expensive. Um, $12.99, how can I not put that in the cart? So I think we're just gonna ride around like this now. All right, that puts us at the art first. That's a photo blown up into a Gigli print. Oh, there's a couple of them. Looks like somebody took moments of their life and had them made into art. That's a thing now. It's kind of a cool thing now. Actually, I have a bunch of those that I need to uh, find a place to put up. Bougie actually can go up on the bird wall. Goodness, why haven't I done that already? Yes, Bougie's gonna go up on the bird wall very, very soon. As soon as I'm able, ow! Ow, something stuck me on that. Um, bird wall is gonna get finished this week, I do believe. Okay, it's a mar all that work for uh, somebody's marlin catch there. Okay, let's put that back. All right, let's look at the shippable type art. That looks like a Gary Patterson cat. Oh yeah, that is Gary Patterson truce. That's really cute. $1.50, we're gonna grab that one. Okay, I'm getting a little off focus of my higher end items, but when you find those things that just strike an emotion, like this is a very famous print. Dro I don't know if it's D Roguette or Droguette. Anyway, $3.99, we're getting the kitty looking in the mirror. I do still need to keep my bread and butter regular sales coming in as well as finding those high end items. All right, I'm gonna look through the furniture just real quick since there was already that fabulous poof. I mean, somebody's got really good taste in uh, decor. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not seeing anything here. It's definitely a good place to buy a desk. I mean, these are pretty nifty for 20 bucks. All right, I'm gonna go down this little wall here and head to the front where the hard goods are, but lamps are on the way, so we'll take a peek at those. Let's see if there's anything cool. No, I don't see anything. All right, we've made it up to the start. Oh, those are metal. I would not have guessed that those are metal. Put that pair closer together so somebody doesn't miss that there's a pair. Pretty little, kind of an Asian cat. Not for food use. How would you use that for food? I know, I get it. The stamp is generic and they have to put it on all the goods that they make, but it's just so silly. So, so silly. Now these shelves aren't nearly as full as the last store we were at, as you can see. Is that a, oh, it's an alligator. Yes, alligator hatching out of an egg, little wood guy. I wish his nose wasn't so kind of scuffed up. I wonder if that would come back, because it is wood. If you put a little oil in there, I think I'm gonna experiment with him. He's only $3.99. He's cool no matter what. We'll find out. Little elephant planter, $7.99. Whoops, nope, not taking him. Let's see, we got some dolls. Juicy Bugatti 2, Nina Ricci Privé Balmain. I don't know what any, any of that means. Okay. Nope. Got a cute little doggy. Oh, it's like a Rottweiler puppy. Hello. Is that a painting? No, it's a little print. It's a little vintage print. Oh, what do you go on? Okay, this is kind of fabulous. Probably sat on a nest. And the nest is not here. A oh, little bit of chipping. Big bit of chipping. Oh, sadly, we have to leave you. You know, that really breaks my heart. It totally breaks my heart. Oh, look, there's another big piece that goes with those. It's close enough. I don't need to reunite those. Somebody will find those together. It's all good. White flowers. 
What are you? Oh, your sachets. Okay, we don't need sachets. Look in the candle section here. Mostly just candle candles, not even candle holders. Nope. I see nothing good. Okay, let's look at the Christmas mugs. If there's anything. Winterberry false graph. Holiday stuff is a much slower seller right now, so you have to be careful what you pick up and invest in and have to hold on to for a while if you are a reseller. But about August, you can start really thinking about it, which is a good time because that's when most people are not thinking about it at all. So you can find some really good stuff on the shelves. Okay, let's see. Yep, cute little gnome girl. All right, and then we got Easter. I got our own little Easter section here. I do like the bougie blue eggs, I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> you know, I do love doing like mystery jewelry sales and these bougie blue eggs would fit right in. Okay, be watching for that. I'll be doing that over on Whatnot. That is the best place for me to do that type of a sale. And if you've never used Whatnot before, I have a link down in my description where you can sign up and get $15 to go spend. All right, this is their little wood section here. Let's see what goodies we can find. Lots of to be painted stuff. Remember at the other store, I found all those lids if you watched that video. This is what I thought it was at first, is just little pieces. And then that's funny, here are the little pieces. Go figure. Costa Rica, little wine bottle holder. I learned that because of you guys. That's an interesting basket now, isn't it? For $5.99. I think it's broken though. Yep, it looks like at one time Maybe? No, maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. It's definitely handcrafted. It's kind of cool. I'm going to tell you, it's, it's a neat piece. I kind of want to get it. Okay, they are actually stocking shelves as we speak. So I'm kind of keeping an eye out for anything that they're putting behind me that I haven't gotten to. I mean, that I've already passed that I would have to go back and, and see. But... Everything ahead, you know, we're gonna get to that. Oh, this is just the frame for uh, one of the little needle craft kits. Okay, let's see. Do I need to get this for my grand kitty Dozer? Cause he is one cool cat. He actually does not need to be told he's one cool cat. He just knows he's one cool cat. He's probably gonna show up in one of my videos next week. Actually, a couple weeks, yes. Um, because I am heading to go give a visit in a couple of weeks. Okay, we are in the metals. And I have found some real zingers in the metals, so always go into it with high hopes. I kind of I kind of like the the look. This is not very high quality. I can tell that just because of all the glue I'm seeing, but look how these look with their kind of all together and then you put a candle in them. I'm kind of digging it. Is that metal with cotton? It is. Oh wow, there's there's something you don't see every day. Oh my goodness, give me a J. That is a humongous J. Alright, we're back in the silver plate. See who makes this one. I am not seeing a name on it. Lots of tarnish, but no name. And these have a nice feel to them too. It's really hard sometimes through the tarnish to find the name. And a lot of times they had a sticker. Oh, there's a name. It is Oneida, Oneida USA. Had a little visitor while shopping. 
Wow, this is a beautiful marble pedestal, but it's broken underneath. I don't know how much that would matter to someone. I do super love this. Oh, it's $12.99. Yeah, I don't think I can do $12.99 with it being broken. That's the kind of thing that comes from Home Goods. I recognize it. I don't think it's that much more at Home Goods. Oh, that's kind of a fun piece right there. If it was blue, I might be tempted. Okay, who has a color that tempts them more than other colors? What is your color that when you see it on the shelf, you have to give it a second look? This, I believe, is anthropology, but unfortunately it is broken and it is $25. And then this little piece, also super broken, which is too bad, but $2 is a good price on that. I wonder if that could be reformed. I'm not gonna get it, but I have hopes for it. All right, let's look in the, the white section here. That's kind of an interesting little stoneware piece. Some of this came from the same clearance place. What are those? Those are kind of fun, mercury glass bottles. Nothing super exciting though. Oh goodness, let's see. Anything in the clear? Not in this one. Okay. Can we find some white flowers? We've got pine cones, lots of pine cones, but no white flowers. All right, we've made our way to the plastics. Ooh, that'd be a very functional scale for some shipping. It's a Pampered Chef scale too. Oh. It's three dollars. Hmm. I don't need another scale, but hopefully somebody picks that up because actually I like those kind of scales better than I like the digital ones because those don't ever turn off. So they're always waiting whenever you want to like plop your item onto the scale. Ooh. Nicole Miller Home Melamine. Now that's fascinating. Let's see how much that is. Again, probably a home goods item. $5.99, that does not seem bad. And it's just very eye appealing. It's brand new with tags. I think I'm picking that up. And I went back to the blue section because I looked back and saw that this was a cake stand. It is Melamine. It is Cynthia Coulter Home Designs. And it's only $3.99. All right, we'll see if there's anything in the red, purple, pink, or orange. My horse keeps grabbing people. All right, we are into the glassware on the other side here. Those are some really pretty champagne flutes, but we definitely don't need them. Look at these. Oh, those are so pretty with the hibiscus. Ooh. So they have a label, but they've put the price tags on top, so can't really see who done them. 2000 something. Okay, maybe one of these will be readable. Wait, oh, so we 2005, we're getting closer. 2005 Island Plantation is who makes those. Those are absolutely gorgeous, and they are asking three dollars each okay i did a little look up and they do sell for 45 dollars <gasps> three six i'd be twelve dollars i would be silly not to pick those up yeah i know i said i really don't want to deal with drinkware and shipping drinkware but those ones got me they are absolutely gorgeous i wouldn't even mind putting those in my own cupboard <laughs> gonna say in my own kitchen um, but obviously the cupboard is in the kitchen you know sometimes my brain just messes with me on how the words come out I'm sure you've noticed 
All right, let's look in the mugs. See if there's anything special. I'm seeing more and more steins showing up in the Goodwills, more than normal. Is this another lean-in tree? I think, now it says polar graphics. I think lean-in tree made the uh, designated driver one. This is 99 cents, I think I will grab that. And actually it has a friend. I've sold that one before, but it actually took a little longer than I thought. Oh, and I've had the Stonehenge one too. I am not going to pick those back up. Let's see. Rooster's kind of pretty. Reminds me of how Hadley does their painting, but he's not. He's made in China. Cute little soup trays. Ooh, they got lots of platters. I'm not even really tempted to look very close at the platters. It's a pretty little pattern. Let's see who makes you. Oh, is that a group of four? Yep, okay. Christopher Stewart, Bali High. That sounds kind of, kind of pricey. And sometimes different things go to different stores. So that Villaroy and Bach that I found at the other store in the previous video, other pieces could show up in other stores. So I'm kind of on the lookout for that. It would be cool to find some more pieces. All right, I don't think we're finding anything in the dishes today. Oh, this bamboo set is pretty cool. Look at the color. Four bowls. There's a, put the main like salad in here and you got the serving bowls. And then I'm not sure what the little tray's purpose is, but oh, it's got some damage on the tray. So we can't count that in the value, but it was $7.50. It's kind of big, oversized shipping. I think we're gonna leave it. All right, let's get over here. Upright socket roasting pan. What? Snap-on. Um, Snap-on tools are very expensive. So let's see what what does this look like? Stand by. I mean it's nothing real special. It's it's just branded snap-on. So huh. It's for a full-size chicken with vegetable sides. Enhance the flavor with beer, marinade, or juice used in your oven or grill. I wonder if Noah could use this. It's kind of it's kind of nifty. It's $5.99. Or maybe I'll look it up. Well, they do sell for $15 to $20. So you know what? I'm going to get it. I'm going to see if Noah wants to use it. And if not, I can sell it. All right. Now I know somebody could have snagged that tomorrow for half price. It's worth it. It's worth it not to fight the crowds. I'm telling you, the checkout is going to be a mile long. I'm actually going yard sailing tomorrow with some of my favorite picking friends, Picker Road. It's been a hot minute since we have been able to shop together, so I'm very, very much looking forward to it and having a whole lot of fun finding cool things out there now that we are into our yard sale weather. Grace, Grace's Teaware. That is a cute little sugar bowl. That's really calling me. Really calling me for two bucks? Okay, I have to get it. Let's see. What other goodies are on the shelf? Iowa, salt and peppers. Oh my goodness, that is like a whole, whole bag of individual salts. All right. Nothing else super exciting. Oh, those are some cute vintage pots. Look at the angle of the handle on this. Let's see who makes you. You are Cumberland Hearthside May Blossom. I wonder what the insides look like. The prices are right if they're in good condition, but there is some damage to the enameling on the outside. I think I will leave those for somebody else. It's not quite my my forte, and uh, somebody else might really want those. I am perfectly okay leaving stuff behind. 
especially if it goes a little outside my norm. As I, I'm like trying to think, could I put that on Cherish? Could I put that on Cherish? It's kind of where my, my brain is going these days. Somebody spent a whole lot of time stacking those binders up like that. I hope people don't ruin it. I mean, I hope they sell them. I just hope that they don't just, you know, tear it all apart for the sake of tearing it apart. I like these little notepads. But we don't need those today. An apple a day. Happy life. Be healthy. I don't eat an apple a day. I'm not a big apple fan. Hmm? But I do want a happy life and be healthy. So I'm going to find some other ways other than eating an apple a day. Give me your best health tip down in the comments. All right. We're in the pet section. Oh my gosh. I have got to go find Cora some indestructible toys. I mean, she is a toy destroyer. And it's a really good thing that Peanut's not super attached to any of her toys because, well, Cora's gone through a few of them already. <laughs> Even some that are supposed to be like super durable. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna give a peek in the tablecloths, which also has some placemats and tea towels and that sort of thing. Let's see if we can find anything special. Not exciting, okay, all right. Nothing really calling me on this aisle. All right, let's check out the fabrics. Let's see if there's some excitement here. No, that's truly just fabric. Sometimes they put things that they just don't know where else they go. And then you can score big, but nothing today. All right, somebody is playing a set of drums as I am over at the jewelry case. I do want to look at this set. I can't tell if that's real stone or not. Okay, that was plastic. Let's see if there's anything else we need to see. on this side. Look at that chain. Chain link is kind of cool, but it's a, I can see from here it's kind of a cheap glittery thing. It's just fun. I kind of like the uh, copper heart. I'm going to look at that a little closer. And maybe look at this pin right here that is only $1.50. Okay, I'm going to pull those pieces out and take a look. Let's see. Oh gosh, no, that's really new and cheaply made. I just spotted that. Yeah, that one right there. Let's take a peek at that. Look at the class. It is Express. It's Express trying to look like Whiting and Davis. It's still cool though. $7.99. You know what? I think I will get that. Okay, there is my full card again. Got some fun stuff. I got that one piece of jewelry. We're going to head to the checkout. Stay tuned for a recap of everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. Coming up right now.
same parking lot, we have the Las Vegas Premium Outlets. And I thought, is since we've been kind of looking at the comparison between thrift and retail, we'll go to discount retail on some of the better brands. Malls are kind of becoming a thing of the past. But boy, when I walk in one, it sure brings back the memories of being a teenager, going to the mall with my friends. Okay, this is the Chico's. And what I specifically want to look at is some of the Chico's jewelry. Let's kind of see what the pricing is. So $39.95. And they make some pretty nice jewelry. Actually, all of their jewelry is 50% off. Oh, it's buy one, get one 50% off. Gotcha. Bracelets, $36.95, $44.95 for the ones that use like the real stones. Earrings, whoops, $22.95. That whole thing just went to the floor. Okay, I gotta fix that. See, that's kind of pretty. $60, $59.95, $49.95. So see, it's not, it is not cheap jewelry to begin with. Oh yeah, I didn't get to see what the earrings actually cost because I was too busy knocking them off. Okay, 25. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at those jackets. Oh, look how fun this is. Be a kid, play. Well, put some money in, I'm sure. Yeah. And then you get to do the little train set. How fun is that? Oh, Zoltar! Are these lounge flies? Ooh, they are lounge flies. Pokemon lounge fly. Little purse lounge flies. $80 for the purse. Then there's like the little mini backpacks. Oh, I love Earth. That's pretty cute. It was $80 for the big backpacks and $75 for the smaller ones. Look at all these Funkos. Holy smokes, that's a lot of Funko Pops. Even the newer ties are $5.99 for that size. Yep, $5.99. $5.99. Looks like they're pretty much all $5.99. This store has my attention. Ooh, pretty pretty. Look at like little tiny, little tiny Leopard Delight. $26 for that. 33, 42, 37, Aragonite, Jasper Brown, some pretty stuff, but there's your prices on that. Okay, I think I'm going to have to pick something out. I think I'm going to get this little blue appetite keychain too. And now you can just call me an impulse buyer. And what mall would be complete without a food court? This is where all the action is. This is where all the people are. That's so cute. Something I'm noticing that almost every single one, if not every one of these stores, has some sort of a clearance going on. Because that is retail strategy. And it's something that I have been advising online sellers to do for years and years and years have a clearance category oh let's look in here oh hello my pretties disney ones the sparkle is insane just five hundred dollars for him so even like a simple little bracelet in there was like a hundred bucks so it just tells you swarovski good stuff this mall has two food courts. That's interesting. It's amazing. There's as many places to eat as there are places to shop. Oh my goodness, turtles. We're in the Kate Spade store. Look at just a little teeny tiny Barbie pink with this chain link, $119. I think that's the one that Jordan just got. I guess that's literally what you call a tennis bracelet. All right, I got a little birthday present for Jordan. She likes the Kate Spade store. 
All right, I love this so much. That is great. Okay, well, I've got Jordan's birthday present out of the way. And if she watches this video, she will have no idea what I got her. Oh, we already know that Pandora is a good brand. Ooh, a little bracelet for $1,250. The jewelry stores are not very fond of you filming inside. That's why I'm not going in. Uh, the Swarovski store was kind of okay with it, but I could tell they weren't super comfortable with it. So I didn't do a lot of filming in there, except for the little critters, but okay, let's see if there's anything else I need to look at while we're here. Kipling. Kipling is not a brand I'm familiar with, but they have a whole store and they have a whole Barbie line. So uh, pink, pink is where it's at right now. Well, if nothing else, I got my exercise today. I forgot <laughs> how long a walk it is to go through an entire mall. It's mostly closed. I mean, I went in the non-closed stores and there are few and far between. <sighs> now, we just gotta get all the way back. Looks like they've got a big old arcade coming in over here. So this food space right here is gonna be super happy. All right, I think that about does it for us. And I'm pooped. <laughs> I need to get home, and get off my feet. You go be profitable and make it fun. See you on the next one.